Hi, in this video we're going to be taking a look at an add-on called Pawn. This one may help you decide which items are upgrades for you as you level up and do endgame content in Legion. So when deciding which piece of gear is an upgrade, people have been used in recent years to referring to a list, just look up the list, oh this piece of gear is better in that slot. Now it was always a little bit of a lie but now it's a whopping great fib. In Legion we've got massive variation of item level on the same piece of gear thanks to Titan Forge upgrades. We've of course already had in Warlords of Draenor the idea of random sockets appearing on gear and of course a socket is worth quite a bit as well because you can put your favourite secondary stat onto it. So how can you tell which piece of gear is an upgrade? I mean you get a piece of gear, you're already wearing one and it's got your two best stats on it. You get another one, it's got your two worst stats, but it's a higher item level. Well, is it an upgrade? You sort of know. If it's about the same item level, it's not an upgrade. But if it's a load higher item level, it's clearly an upgrade. But what if it's a bit higher item level? How do you know? Well, we're going to need for this some stat weights. You can get those from SimCraft. I've already put a video out on how to use SimCraft. I'll put a link there. So what you can now do is use an add-on called Pawn. I'm going to show you how to set that up where you put your own stat weights in and it will show you for a piece of gear, just mouse over it, whether it is an upgrade or not. So what we're going to do is backslash P-A-W-N, open up the options. Now, we need to be on this uh, tab here, scale. Automatic, just da -da -da -da, manual, let me manage scales. We want to create a new one. So uh, I'll just call it MM Hunter. So we can now enter values of our own. I've got these from SimCraft. 0.344 agility. Um, I don't even know why stamina is a thing. Never mind. Can get rid of that. Right, crit. I've got 1.89. Uh, we don't need those normalizing either of these values. No point. Haste. 2.61. Now remember I've got these from Behave. Um, by importing my character into SimCraft, obviously stat weights are dependent on all sorts of things. And they do change. Don't, you know, when you see them in guys, don't think, oh, those are our stat weights for our spec. It's not. Stat weights are personal to you. And they're also, you know, when your gear changes significantly, they'll change as well. And they're also change according to um, type of fight. I mean, you know, the standard SimCraft is just to put a patchwork fight in, which is quite unlike any fight that has existed since patchwork. But, you know, just it's your single target priority. Right, let's have a look. Is there a weapon DPS somewhere? Might as well put weapon DPS in. 0.94. Okay. And that should be good. Now, what we should be able to do, if I, uh, let's replace my neck. So what you can see here, I've just put a, a lower quality neck on. And this one is telling me that for MM Hunter, this is the only one I'm interested in. Uh, the one at the bottom, it's telling me it's an upgrade from Beastmaster in Survival as well. But I'm not, you know, I'm interested in only the ones I put in. It's telling me it's a 76% upgrade. Well, it bloody should be. It's 65 item levels higher. So what you could use this for is you could go into the raid at the time. There's, let's not look at Legion just yet. Uh, of course, if Legion's broken, look at Legion. So if I was going to have a look at, say, ooh, Mythic. And it uh, doesn't really matter about that. I want a neck. Where's a neck? Oh, bugger, let's just go through. Oh, there's a neck straight away. Not an upgrade. If nothing appears there. It's telling me it's not an upgrade. Okay, uh, that's telling me it's an upgrade on my cloak. The things you can't tell from this, bear in mind, are it will not take into account any special abilities on the item. It won't take into account procs, so it's not all that good for telling the difference between trinkets. It can't tell the difference between set bonuses, anything at all that's not stats. It can't tell, so, so it's only any good for comparing two pieces of gear that just have stats on. It will sort of take account of sockets because it will assume that you'll put a socket in that is equal to the best gem you can get and you're going to put it in 
for your best secondary stat. So it will sort of go with that. Um, but it is a useful thing for telling with most types of gear, especially with Titan Forge being a thing. Of course, BIS lists are no longer a thing. So it allows you to be able to say, okay, I'm not sure if this is an upgrade or not. Oh, I'll put this in. Oh, it seems to be. Of course, it is only based on Sims, remember. And I've, as I've already said about the drawbacks of Sims, when you put something to simulation, even assuming that the simulation is pretty accurate, it is only for a snapshot of your character. As soon as you put that upgrade on, for example, your stat weights will change slightly anyway because you've just changed what your stats are. And also it's for the different encounters like AoE, is going to have slightly different stats or maybe majorly different stats depending on your spec to your single target ones as well okay so as always i hope you found that useful if you did don't forget to like comment subscribe and share and until next time i'll see you later